So I quit. <laughs> Not YouTube, uh, although my recent inactivity on the channel might suggest otherwise, although the two things are kind of uh, related. But what I actually quit is Hogwarts Mystery. And the reason is very simple. I was trying to do everything and consequently I didn't really do anything properly. I needed to reset my priorities, figure out what's important and frankly Hogwarts Mystery just had to go. And you would be surprised how much time actually opens up for you once you stop playing. Also, surprisingly, Headspace also <laughs> frees up quite a lot when you no longer have to think about constantly logging in or how to manage your resources, all that stuff. I mean, I've been pretty honest about my feelings towards the game for a while on my channel. It's not the worst game and if anything, if you want regular new content in the Harry Potter universe, then at the moment it's still your only option because whilst Hogwarts Legacy is amazing and, all, and great and you know all of that, you finish it whether in one house or all houses, which some people have already accomplished, then it's kind of done. You finish it and there's there's nothing else. You have to wait for a DLC that has not been promised or a sequel that, well, kind of has been suggested. And as for Magic Awakened, unless you have the original Asian version, it's still not coming out globally anytime soon, judging from their lack of PR. So yeah, Hogwarts Mystery is still a very valid option for people to play and if you do like the story then by all means. I personally never really enjoyed the story that much. I played it out of habit and now that habit has to go. Now will it affect this channel? Kinda yes, but not really. Because I will still make Hogwarts Mystery content. Before I quit I was actually uh, playing it quite regularly because I was trying to catch up. I wanted to reach year 8 by the time it actually comes out, which judging from some news-ish on the internet I've seen might be in June. June 7 I think is the date that I saw mentioned as far as year 8 release. Um, I got to like year 7, chapter 30, I think. So I wasn't that far off, but it would still require me to constantly play and that was just not gonna happen. Um, so as far as me wanting to provide you with the latest content when year 8 comes out, that might be a little bit tricky. Uh, but until then, I do have a few video ideas that I would like to do. And one of them is actually um, for those who, similar to me, want to catch up, but unlike me, are not quitting. Um, so I do have a lot of tips, I think, on how to do uh, the story chapters as fast as possible using all of your resources, because pretty much all of them come in handy. Um, I'm not sure if you can do a chapter a day or in general an entire chapter in a day. Um, maybe if the stars align and you know the new events come out, the right events and all of that, maybe it is possible. Um, maybe I will still test that theory. But yeah, if you want to know how to progress quickly, then wait for that video. That is gonna come out. Uh, another video that I definitely still want to do is about what to expect in year 8. Spoiler alert, Harry Potter is actually coming to Hogwarts Mystery, among other things. If you're familiar with the Data Mind Prophet, or even if you're not familiar, um, I don't make it, <laughs> just <laughs> FYI, but uh, it does occasionally reveal some stuff about upcoming features, including year 8. Um, so it, I still think it would be fun to look into it for those who are interested to know in advance what to look for, uh, like what to look forward to in the game. So that is another video that I will be making. And of course, if you have any other ideas, things that you would want me to make, talk about, show, discuss, like all of that, uh, the comment section is always available. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.